Bonsai! I'm the Cobra Kai Kid, and are you ready? Yes, Sensei! Are you sure? No, Sensei! Come on, guys! <laughs> Just kidding. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the stream. Thank you all so, so much for joining. I am your host, the Cobra Kai Kid. And uh, we have a very exciting stream ahead. Uh, we have some new Cobra Kai Season 6 info. And some more. So I'm really excited to talk about it with you all. First off, I want to wish all of you a very happy holidays. So I hope you guys had a great holiday spending time with friends, family, or by yourself. However you spend it um, is totally, totally cool. And we are fastly approaching the new year. So I hope you guys um, are excited for that. And, you know, the new year is always a great time to make some resolutions and uh think about what you want to do and how you want to improve yourself and uh it's always a great year so thank you all so so much for joining i really really appreciate you for being here um am i oh am i growing a beard is the question i am not i i, I love every time i have a beard every time i have a beard i always get the comments but you know um i just it's just it's just yeah i just have it uh you know i haven't shaved but i will um you know i'm going for the johnny lawrence look right now i will shave um now the beards are itchy for me so i usually don't go with that um <laughs> someone said is that johnny what do you guys think about the setup over here how cool is this you guys probably recognize some stuff the cobra kai star wars you got ghostbusters stranger things in the bottom there indiana jones so my uh, Ralph and Martin, my Cobra Kai bears. So like really, really, um, happy about that setup. Um, I'm very excited, um, off center because somebody's joining. No, I, the reason I'm off center is actually because I'm going to be pulling up, um, some stuff. So like that. So yeah, that, that's why I'm off center. Cause like, you know, like, yeah. Cause if I were here, you want to be able to see me, but there, I got you guys. I got you. It all happens for a reason. But before we get going, I need to show you guys something. We need a drum. We need a drum roll, or let's get some like music. I need to show you guys. I just got something today, and it's the coolest thing in the world. So, are you guys ready for this? Let me put some like music. All okay. right. Is that good volume? That's good volume. Okay. Let me go get it. Are you guys ready for this? So. Without further ado, I present to you. Look at that! Look at that! Oh my god! That was sick. So, so, so this is actually um, Galaxy Geeks, uh, a YouTuber, um, created this for me, created this design, and I absolutely loved it. So I decided to make a big poster out of it, and I'm gonna put it. That's where it's gonna go. So, um, I'm so freaking in love with this. It's so cool. Like, you got me with the headband here. That's from my eye audition for the Karate Kid video. This is from my location video. This is from when I met Ralph. Um, this is awesome. Um, thank you so much, Galaxy Geeks, for doing this. Uh, it's literally the coolest thing ever. I'm so excited to hang it up. I had to, like, put a big poster of this. Like, I'm, I'm so freaking excited. Um, you know, it'd be cool though to have another one that's like Cobra Kai version. So this is like the Miyagi-Do version. Maybe I'll ask him like to do a Cobra Kai version. That'd be sick. But uh, Galaxy Geeks, shout out Uk and Audrey. Um, very, very nice people. Very skilled YouTubers. So uh, go check them out if you haven't already. Um, and I did a collaboration with them um, on my DrewTube channel. So if you guys are not subscribed to DrewTube, make sure you subscribe to DrewTube, my other channel. Uh, where I talk about movies, TV, everything, entertainment. I, I even uploaded like a, a, a movie on there, um, a new movie I was working on. So make sure you go check that out. Um, I've been putting a lot of work into there. So thank you guys so, so much. And no way. It looks like we got James Hayward in the chat. Guys, James Hayward has popped onto some streams. And if you guys don't know, James Hayward is the location scouter for Cobra Kai. 
Not long until I can get back to work. James, super excited. So that's a picture of him with Billy Zapka, which is so co cool. So James scouts locations uh, for Cobra Kai. And um, he's got um, a lot of cool insight. He's popped onto some streams. So James, thank you so much for joining. I'm so excited for um, you to be here. And uh, maybe you can uh, give us some, some different teases. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, man. Yeah. How do you get live pop-ups like the thing you just did with the tweet? So this is actually StreamYards. Uh, I'm using StreamYards. That's what I use to um, do my live stream. So if you guys are into uh, live streaming, if you want to get into it, uh, StreamYards is a platform that I discovered. Um, I literally just one day searched up like how to do streaming and I found StreamYards and it was just so user friendly. So I highly recommend it for everyone out there. Um, StreamYards is a great, great platform to, to live stream. So um, yeah. And, 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 and thank you guys for the comments about the poster. Um, I really appreciate it. So um, what's up guys? Thank you. Thank you so much for joining. I hope all of you are great and I hope you guys had a great holiday. So um, we could talk about that. We could talk about the holidays and we can talk about more. I think we should start with um our big season six news though because i think that's what we're all that's what we're all here for so let's just jump right into it now there's been a question that everybody has been asking regarding cobra kai season six there's a lot of questions but one of the biggest questions is how many episodes are we gonna get now cobra kai seasons one through five have all had 10 episodes now, why would people think that season six might be different? Well, season six is the final season of the show. And the creators, the writers have been promoting it as the biggest season yet. Now, we don't necessarily know what that means for sure, but I'm going to assume that it's going to be the biggest season in scope, meaning we're going to get a ton of characters and James Hayward here in the chat, the location manager. I think we're going to get a lot of really cool locations. And I think it's just going to feel a lot bigger. You know, season one started in the valley. Very, very small scale. So I think when the writers say season six is going to be the biggest season, they mean the scale is just going to increase. And we have, we've already seen that through seasons one to season five. So I think season six is only going to increase even more more but the big question guys is how many episodes of season six are the episodes going to be longer we have our answer cobra kai writer and creator hayden schlossberg was on twitter answering fan questions and the fan by the username of taco <laughs> asked how many episodes in season six just flat out this is a question we've been wanting to know are there 10 episodes? Are there going to be 12, 15? Is it going to be in two parts? We've been wondering this. And Taco here just asked the question, how many episodes? And Hayden just flat out says 10 episodes. But the total runtime for the full season will be the longest. So guys, there is our confirmation. It's not going to be 12. It's not going to be 15. It's going to be 10. Now, there were a lot of theories about season six being split up into two parts. I think by Hayden confirming that there's only 10 episodes, it pretty much throws that theory out the window. If there were more than 10 episodes, I would say, yeah, it's very possible they could split it into two parts. But because there's only going to be 10 episodes. Now, Stranger Things, I believe season four had eight episodes. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I believe Stranger Things season four had eight episodes. And or maybe had nine, and they did like the first seven or six episodes, and then the last two episodes. But the difference with Stranger Things, the reason why Stranger Things was able to do that two part thing where they released the first six or seven one day, and then they waited a month and then released the last two. The reason they were able to do that is because each episode of Stranger Things was like an hour and a half long, like the finale was literally two and a half hours long unheard of for a tv show the finale was the length of a movie longer than an average movie 
The reason why I don't think they're going to do that with Cobra Kai is because even though Hayden is saying the runtime is going to be longer um, or the longest of any season, it's not going to be Stranger Things length. Like each episode like is not going to be an hour and a half. If that were the case, then yeah, it would make sense to split it up into two parts. But, you know, every season of Cobra Kai is just released all at once. And I don't think the runtime will be long enough for them to say, hey, you know what? We're going to split it into two parts um, and release all of it or release the first eight episodes one day and then wait a month and then release the next. I think they're going to continue with the format that they've been doing and they're just going to release it all at once. Now, for some, this may be some disappointing news because obviously we were hoping for longer episodes or more episodes. Um, I mean, listen, for me, you know, the more Cobra Kai, the better. Like if Hayden had answered this question and said, oh, yeah, there's going to be 15 episodes in season six. This would have been like, oh, my God, God, like, I would be freaking out. Like, guys, season six is going to be 15 episodes. The most episodes of any season, each season only being 10 season six being 15. Like, this is crazy. This is awesome. But by him saying 10, it's just that's just what it is that's what it's been so there's not really much of a surprise it's like oh man it's kind of hoping for like maybe an extra two episodes but it's all right but the good news guys is that he is confirming that the total runtime for the season will be the longest which makes a lot of sense this is the last season and you know if you're not going to do the more than 10 ep the more than 10 episode thing then you might as well give us long episodes which is what they're going to be doing, which I'm really, really excited for. If I had to guess now, Cobra Kai episodes range between maybe like 30 and 45 minutes. Like in, in season one, episodes were like 30 to 35 minutes. And then like as we got further along, it started to go like more to like the 40 minute mark. So it went from more like the 30 minute to the 40 minute mark. I think it's very possible that with season six episodes start to go closer to the hour. Now. I would say maybe like 50, 45 to 50 minutes is my guess. I would say 45 to 50 minutes average per episode in season six. Now it's just a guess, but if they were to do that, if each episode were to be about 45 minutes to 50 minutes, I think that would be, that would make it like um, the longest season. Now, some, ep some episodes, it's like an hour. That'd be really cool. Uh, let me let me see. Let me see if I can pull up. Um, can I share my Netflix tab? Maybe I can. Oh, I can. Cool. Okay. So I have to take this out. Okay. Um, let me let me let me just adjust this so you guys so we can so we can talk about this. Um. Okay. All right. Perfect. So let's look at season one. 29 minutes, 28 minutes, 24 minutes, 28 minutes, like 34, 31, 29, 30, 31, 37. Those are short, man. Like literally in the 20s over here. Those are short episodes. And then let's go to season five. 31, 38, 36, 36, 39, 37, 36, 37, 37, 48. So the episodes definitely increased. Now, I would say season six will probably be, now that I'm seeing that the average is like in the 30s, I would say with the longest being 48 minutes, I would say season six will average maybe 40 to 45 to maybe even 50 minutes. The season finale needs to be over an hour. It, it just has to be. Like, the season finale needs to be over. Like, I, like you see how we have the minutes here? I want to see an hour. I want to see... Actually, I don't know if Netflix shows hours. I think it just shows minutes. But I want to see over 60 minutes for that finale. Um, I just want the finale to be huge. So, hopefully they do that. But that's my guess. So what do you guys think? How how long do you think um, the episodes of season six will be? Uh, Bryce Production says you should do a live stream with multiple. Blah, blah. 
Bryce Production says you should do a live stream with multiple Karate Kid Cobra Kai YouTubers like Cobra Kai Theory, Cobra Kai Nation, Strike First Media, Companion Network, and Ken Cole and give predictions for Cobra Kai Season 6. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool, man. Um, definitely something uh, to think about. That'd be cool. D and, and thank you thank you so much for the super chat really really appreciate that dan purrington thank you for the super chat ask hayden about bringing bobby back with jimmy dutch and having them share some scenes with crease i i feel like that was the only thing from season two that was missing um i mean there was no room for it obviously like you know the story just didn't allow for that like that would have been more of a fan service thing to have you know crease interact with the original cobra kai gang you know the bobby jimmy dutch um you know the story was about tommy being there for tommy who was in the hospital but i think that would be really cool for season six especially like kind of like tying that story arc there um now dutch is not going to come back we already we already know the actor has uh said he, he doesn't want to do it anymore so um we'll see i i hope i hope they bring back bobby and jimmy um, and it, I mean, listen, maybe Chad McQueen, uh, who plays Dutch, maybe he'll change his mind and decide like, Hey, like let's do it. So, um, uh, chosen one says 40 plus minutes. My hero says 50 minutes to an hour. Jim Tim says, I'd like the final episode to be two hours. I'd like the final episode to be a million hours. <laughs> yeah. But guys, I appreciate the comments. I appreciate the super chat. So thank you so, so much. Cobra Kai Canada, what's up? Bring back Daryl Vidal. Um, that would be sick. They definitely should bring him back. And guys, uh, Cobra Kai Canada actually interviewed the, the big three. John, Josh, and Hayden. Awesome, awesome interview. So go, guys, go check that out if you haven't already. Um... Let's see. Sarah Lawson says, real talk. I don't know why they're ending it so soon. They had to tell so much more. Yeah, man. I thought I thought they were actually going to go to seven. I thought they were going to go to seven seasons, if I'm being honest. Because um, it just seemed like they weren't ready to end it. Like, when the big three john josh and hayden were doing interviews for season five they would say like yeah we have a lot more story to tell and we'll see how many seasons it takes to get there like the way they were answering questions didn't make it seem like yeah we're coming towards the end it made it more like yeah we have at least a couple more it's kind of what they're like they never officially confirmed that but it's kind of what was implied anyway so that's what we got with uh, the whole 10 episode thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Love yeah, yeah. Thank you for coming in the chat. I wonder if they'll reveal Johnny's real father in a flashback. That'd be cool. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, yes, I have interviewed the big three. I've interviewed them twice and um, might have a third time coming. That's all I'll say. We'll see. James, 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 James Hayward, location scatter of Cobra Kai, says, wait until you see the finale. The title alone is incredibly full circle. What the heck? Okay, guys, let's guess. Let's guess. You know what? We're going to take a little pause from our from our questions and we're going to do a fun thing with James's tweet. This is just, or James's comment. This is just, this is just so like spot in the moment. Um, let's guess the finale title of season six. Okay. Okay. Here's what we're doing guys. Here's what we're doing. We're going to do it. We're going to guess the finale based off of James comments. 
<laughs> this is what happens on Cobra Kai Kid live streams. You never know what you're going to get. So, okay. Um, let's guess the title. Okay. So James says it's going to come full circle. So what, what do we think it could be? Um, the end of the line. The chosen one. Oh, is the title the Karate Kid? Oh, that actually be sick. The finale being the Karate Kid, X Degenerate. Honestly, the Karate Kid would be like a cool like final title. Um, last episode. Wait, what is the title of the last episode? Did you just have that waiting? Me? No, I literally just made it. I literally just made it. I made this stock right now. Okay, let's comment. What do we think the last <laughs> episode is going to be? <clears throat> no, wait, that's not going to fit. Okay, what is the last type episode? Okay. I like the Karate Kid. It will either be X Degenerate or the best around. I like that. X Degenerate because the first one was Ace Degenerate. The best around. <laughs> uh, Cobra Kai Never Dies is actually the name of episode four. <laughs> so... <laughs> the final countdown. That's pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> um, it's just gonna be Cobra Kai. Uh, I don't think so. I think there'll be a little more uh clever than that. Uh No Mercy is actually the name of uh season two, episode ten. So um that's already an episode title. Um, what else could it be? Is balance an episode title? I don't think balance is an episode title. Maybe balance. Eh, actually, it's kind of boring, actually. I don't think so. I'm going to say that. Probably not. There ooh, counterbalance is episode five. <laughs> Good guesses. <laughs> James, James is not going to give us anything. Oh, man. What about Sacrifice? Sacrifice is cool. Strike Force is the name of episode two of uh, season one. Yeah, they have an episode called Miyagi-Do, so it can't be called Miyagi-Do. So here's the thing. I'm actually going to take out X Degenerate. <laughs> the finale title is james a word is the bomb <laughs> i'm gonna take out x degenerate and there's a reason for that now i mean I, I i'll totally call myself out if i'm wrong but the reason why i'm gonna take out x degenerate is because you know even though the first episode was called ace degenerate the first episode was johnny centric now you know the show has evolved and it's focusing on all these different characters so i just don't feel like they're gonna like make a title that just stays on Johnny. So I'm going to take out X degenerate. I feel like the karate kid, the best around. I feel like, I feel like those are like two good ones. Final countdown. Eh, I, I'm going to take that out. I'm going to take that. out. I feel like the karate, Cobra, the karate kid, the best around. Like those are kind of cool. The finale, the last dance, the end of an era. I don't know if it's going to have like the end in the title. I don't know. I don't know if they're going to do that. Like literally lost. If you guys know the show lost and there's certain shows, certain shows, they literally have. It's titled the end. <laughs> so. What if it's the name of their dojo in season six? Um, I could be, could be. Speaking of the name of the dojo, we're actually going to find out something of that. Um, oh, wait a second. I know. I know. I know. Here's the title for the last episode. I already know it, guys. Bert. Bert is going to be <laughs> the name of the final episode of Cobra Kai. <laughs> oh, man. Gotta love Bert. Love that boy. Where is he? Where is he? A mongoose? I'm with Eagle Fang Karate. You may have heard of it. It's pretty badass. <laughs> Dude, you need lessons from Bert on how to achieve life. 
Wait, James. I caught it, bro. I caught it. I knew. What did I say? What did I say? James, thank you. Guys, there we have it. There we have it. James confirms. As a matter of fact, the full of season six is told from Bert's point of view. I knew it. I called this, bro. I called it from the start. I knew it. I knew it. Bert wins the tournament. We know. We know. Boom. I got it right. All right. Thank you. James, I wish you hadn't spoiled that, but I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, dude, that'd be honestly, I would watch a whole season told from Bert's point of view. So then, <laughs> dude, you know, imagine like that, you know, the scene where Johnny is telling Miguel, like, you know, so then LaRusso sucker punched me and all that stuff. Um, imagine, imagine if like, <laughs> dude, imagine if like Bert is like, you know, 30 years later is like, and then they threw me out a window, a freaking window. I thought there was a cat. Like you like, you know, go to told, told his story. Oh man. Give Bert a spinoff series. I agree. I agree. Matthew Thompson. No freaking way oh dude wait were you in that clip matthew thompson is um in cobra kai wait i'm with eagle fang karate you may have heard of it it's pretty badass a mongoose wait which one I'm with eagle fang karate you may have heard of it it's pretty badass i'm with eagle fang karate you may have heard of it oh my god that's so freaking awesome dude i see you bro i see you i see you matthew thompson is in cobra kai um the stunt work, a uh, really, really awesome guy. So that's freaking cool. Um, <laughs> wait, is that is that him? Is that the real one? No, I don't think that's him. Wait, dude, you know what? No, it's not. It's not him, guys. It's not him, dude. People, you know, you guys used to get me. You used to get me, but not anymore. Th this is not him. Yeah, 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 James, James, James. Yeah, yeah, thank, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So, um, I was just walking out with the camera in the prom shot. Yeah, oh, dude, that's so freaking awesome. Thank you for joining, man. Uh, I gotta make you a mod. Um, so you see, people. It's funny because well, it's not really funny, but um, people can make any account. They'll like literally make it like, like, they'll make an account and title it. Yeah, I made Hayden a mod. I made Hayden a mod, and that's not his profile picture. So I made Hayden a mod. Um, um, so that's why I um I made Hayden a mod, so that's why I um know if it's him or not. Sorry, Matt, no stunts on Cobra Kai, yeah, just martial arts. Okay, so sorry about that. But dude, gotta get you to stunts for season six. Um the end is where we begin. Let's begin. I like it. Okay. We got a lot of cool stuff here. And we got some very special guests here in the in the stream. We got we got Matthew Thompson from Cobra Kai, and we have James Hayward, the location scouter. So pretty pretty cool. So and and we got some cool episode titles. So uh, that was fun. That was fun. I'm glad I'm glad we did that. I'm glad we did that. Okay, shall we keep going with um with the questions with Hayden's Twitter Q and A? I think we should to the 140 people here thank you so much for joining make sure to leave a like on this video if you're enjoying it if you're having a good time like that's what we're here for we're here to laugh we're here to smile and have a good time and talk some cobra kai our favorite show okay on to the next one jesse lopez goes to twitter to ask hayden schlossberg cobra kai creator slash writer slash showrunner any chance the kids remaining from what was Silver's Cobra Kai join up with Miyagi Fang? And Hayden replies, A, good chance. This is classic Hayden, literally giving stuff away. But I mean, like, let's be honest, guys. This isn't the most surprising thing. We had a feeling. I mean, who do we have in Cobra Kai now? We have, like, the, the main people. Tori pretty much left. Like, Tori wasn't really in Cobra Kai at the end. But who was in Cobra Kai at the end? You had Kenny, Devin, Kyler. I think it's guaranteed that Devin, Kenny, and Tori 
join the Miyagi Fang Dojo. They have to. I mean, come on. You know, we don't know what's happening with Cobra Kai. If Kim da is going to take it back and then Kreese is going to come in. We don't really know. However, I don't think Kenny, Devin, Tori are going to go back to that side. Like, they pretty much sent a message at the end of the season five by leaving that dojo. So I feel like going into season six, very, very likely that Tori Devin and Kenny will join Miyagi Fang. Now there was a character I left out and I feel like this is the biggest question mark, which is Kyler. What about Kyler? What's going to happen with Kyler? Will Kyler actually join Miyagi Fang? Because Despite Tori trying to kill Sam and, you know, Hawk, you know, cutting off Robbie's hair and, or sorry, Robbie cutting off Hawk's hair and all of the stuff that's gone on. Like everybody freaking hates Kyler. Like Kyler has been like a douchebag the whole series. Kyler has no redeeming qualities. Like at least Tori has some stuff going on in her home life. And maybe Kyler does too. I mean, we know, you know, his dad, you know, said he would get pissed off at him and, Take a crap in his mouth if he failed trick. <laughs> Kyler's words, not mine. So I would like to see Kyler join Miyagi Fang. I like Kyler. Now, listen, I think Kyler's a bad dude, but I like the character. He's a funny character. He's entertaining. Joe Seo is a great actor who steals the scenes that he's in. So I would love to see Kyler in Miyagi Fang just to see how he interacts with everybody. And like, I feel like it would be like kind of cool and full circle to see him like actually on the same side as Miguel, Hawk, Dimitri, you know, all the people that he was bullying for all these seasons. However, there's so much going on that I don't know if that's going to be like a focus. Like, I don't know if like the Cobra Kai creators are like really focused on, yeah, let's give Kyler a redemption story where now he joins the dojo and works with um, Hawk, Miguel, and Dimitri. And also, um, it just might be too much. Um, and, and they might not want to just be like, yep, everybody from Cobra Kai is now joining Miyagi Fang. Like, because then, I mean, that dojo would be pretty full. They might want to like make it realistic in the sense where you have one person, but like I couldn't see Kyler. Like, I feel like Kyler's just really into the martial arts aspect. I feel like Kyler would just want to be a part of the dojo. Like, if there was no more Cobra Kai, like I could see Kyler, like, you know, wanting to just like join a dojo just for the heck of it. I don't know. I'm interested to see what happens there. I think it's guaranteed that Devin, Kenny, and Tori join um Miyagi Fang but with Kyler I'm wondering so those are my thoughts what do you guys think <laughs> Kyler would definitely be like yo this place is dope after seeing the dojo yeah probably Joe is a legend he is <laughs> Daniel and Sam won't want him back, but Miguel and Hawk might be the better people and let him in. Yeah, I mean, listen, they always say, like, sometimes people could change. You got to give them a chance, you know? You never know. We got another super chat here from Dan Purrington. Thank you so, so much, Dan, for sending this super chat in. Do you think Chad McQueen will change his mind in return if the writers allowed him to do his... <laughs> if the writers allowed him, to do him his... <laughs> allowed him to do his racing career in the show, like... Well, the last we heard, Dutch was in jail, so I don't know if, like, I don't know um, how long he got sentenced. I forgot how long they said. Um, how, let me search it up. How long is Dutch in jail? Go over, guy. Oh, 15 to 20, did they say? Oh, 10 to 20 years in prison. Yeah, so doesn't really seem likely, but I've, I, I, I can respect the fact that you want Dutch back so bad. So I want Julie Pierce. I, I do think we're going to get Julie Pierce. Where does Sean Payne fit in season six? Dude, Sean needs to be in this episode. Sean needs to be in the episode or in the season. I love Sean. Good guesses on the titles, guys. Wish I could tell you, but I have signed an NDA recently. Haha. <laughs> Listen, James, 
we don't even want to know. You know, we appreciate you for coming in and teasing these. I, I know we all want to be surprised. And guys, for those who do want to know, it's like, why? Like, 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 it's the last season. Let's get some surprises. Um, that'd be fun. I actually try not to look at the episode titles. Wait, do I? Oh no, I, I, I do. Like, I try. Like, I don't look at the episode. Like, like. Oh, dude. Mitch, I forgot about Mitch, bro. <laughs> Dude, no, I think Mitch will like I think Mitch will return. I think Mitch will return, but like um I think he'll have like a quick scene like it might be like a sorry guys, I just wanted to fit in <laughs> and then it's like fine, bro. Just get the hell over here. I don't know. Like I feel like they're not going to throw Mitch to the dogs like that. I don't know. That would be kind of sad if they did. Um like, if they just said, like, if Mitch was like, sorry, guys, like, can I join? And they're like, no. And then we never see Mitch again. Like, this is the final season. We do have to wrap up these characters. Aiden Minx is a good actor. So I hope, I I, I hope, I mean, listen, if they're not Miyagi Fang, what are they going to do? Be with Kim Daeun and freaking wherever she is? I don't know. Zach, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate that. I want to see Jackie Chan and Jaden Smith. I'm not going to lie. That would be awesome. <laughs> it's so funny because if you had asked me this months ago, I would have said there is no way we will ever see that. No way we'll ever see that. But now who the hell knows? I still say there's no way we see it. I still say there's no way that Jackie Chan and Jaden Smith are in Cobra Kai. I think the writers want to keep that universe completely separate. And I think Sony are the ones that said, Let's do Jackie Chan and Ralph Macchio in a movie. I don't think that anything to do with um, John, Josh, and Hayden saying like, yeah, we should definitely combine those universes. They've always said that those universes are separate. They found no interest in working with the Jane Smith characters. Um, and now you have Sony combining these universes, pretty much negating like everything we thought. So um, listen, I, I want to do a parody with this. I know I already did my I audition for C for the Karate Kid parody, which go check that out if you haven't already. It's a fun video I did it here on the channel. But um, I have fun ideas for like a, I, I'm not gonna give it away, but um, it's just this whole thing is pretty pretty funny. So, so. all right, guys, I need to um take a little little rest just to um rest my voice, um, but I will be back. So in the meantime, enjoy this countdown. Stay here. I'll be back. Just got to take a quick little break. And we'll be back. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I appreciate you all for uh, staying and for joining. Um, so there we go. Let's move on to the next one. Okay. So Melissa... Shout out to Melissa, a great supporter here on the channel. Comments on Twitter to Hayden Schlossberg. Since they are coming of age, will the kids' arcs be bigger than the adults' arcs this season, a.k.a. Johnny, Daniel, and the other adults, or will everyone's arc be very big in their own way? And Hayden replies, everyone gets their moment in the spotlight. So a bit of a smaller answer here. You know, this isn't as big of a question and an answer as a uh, how many episodes in season six? But, you know, it is cool to know that um, the writers really focus on every single character. I mean, there's so many characters in Cobra Kai. And what's so great about this show is everyone has different favorites. Like, my favorite is Miguel. But you have others that have Robbie as their favorite or Sam or Tori or Daniel or Johnny or Miguel or I already said Miguel or Kreese or Silver or Chosen. And when you have a show with all these different characters, it's really important that you highlight each character and give them, you know, the spotlight in their own way that they deserve. And that's what Hayden is saying here. So it's really nice to know that for all the Miguel fans out there, Miguel will get his moments. For the Sam fans out there, Sam will get their her moments. For the Chosen fans, for the Johnny, and I love all the characters. That's the thing. So... Any character that gets their moment in the spotlight, I'm really, really into. And each season, I find myself resonating with a new character. 
Um, season one was Miguel. Season two, like for me, let's say, let's say, like, like who did I really? I'm gonna name a new character I really resonated with each season. Season one, Miguel. Season two, let's go. Johnny. See, yeah, season one, Miguel. Season two, Johnny. Season three, Crease. Season four, Silver was freaking amazing. Um, did I resonate with him? No. Love Kenny. I thought Sam had a good season. Four. Oh no, Tori, Tori. Sorry, no. Season one, Miguel. See, like, who did I resonate with? Season one, or who, who did I like? Kind of appreciate the most. I don't know. Um, season one, Miguel. Season two, Johnny. Season three, Chris. Season four, Tori. And season five, I think it's got to be Daniel. Daniel had a great season in season five. Um, that would probably be my list. Um, it's really interesting. I, I've mentioned this before, but Tori was not on my radar going into season four. You know, there was Terry Silver, there was Kenny, there was Johnny and Sam, you know, you know, Tori was just like, you know, breaking into houses and bringing weapons to school and just crazy. And season four, she had a great season. Really, really loved her in season four. Um, and then in season five, she just continued uh, to improve. Um, is it possible to see chosen again? See, that's a good question. Cause I'm actually wondering what they're going to do with chosen because listen, I want to see chosen back, but like the story is about, I don't know, the first four seasons were Daniel and Johnny. So is it possible that chosen goes back to Okinawa so they could focus on that Daniel and Johnny storyline? Um, I'd be curious to think i'm not 100 percent sure chosen is going to be in like the full season again like that might have just been a season five thing i really don't know i i really i really have no clue um i guess we'll see all right let's go to the next one okay this is the big one guys this is huge curtis park Goes to Twitter and asks Hayden Schlossberg, the Cobra Kai creator, writer, showrunner, if filming starts early 2024, will we get a late 2024 debut? And Hayden says, we are trying to get it out ASAP. I have a lot of thoughts on this. And just to add to it, there's another tweet where Dylan says, can we expect a 2024 release? And will the episode be long? Hayden says, that is the goal. And yes, so uh, 2024 release is the expectation last episode would be long now i have theories it's really really interesting because i think i think there's a lot going on behind the scenes and these are all theories speculation i don't know anything but my guess is because the cobra kai creators are not involved in the i, I think this has to do with the new karate kid movie if I'm being honest, the new Karate Kid movie is set to release in December of 2024. And they set that date, you know, without even having a cast. Like, I think they're just rushing to put out that movie. And I think with season six, you know, season six, there was no, um, you know, you had the writer strike and the actor strike, which delayed everything. And all these dates getting mixed around and pushed back. I predict theories. These are just theories. I don't know anything. I think the Cobra Kai creators are like, okay, this Karate Kid movie is coming out in 2024. Daniel Russo is going to be in it. Jackie Chan's going to be in it. This is going to be an Armiyagi verse, but we're not writing it. There are articles that have said that the Cobra Kai creators have discussed it, you know, that they've talked with Sony and the writers of this new movie and given notes. But what does that really mean? We don't really know. You know, it's not like 
I, I, I don't think the Cobra Kai creators would have ever made this movie with Jackie Chan and Ralph Macchio, but Sony is like, no, we're doing this. So they're like, okay, just like, if you're going to do it, just don't do this or do this. Like, and then, and then they, they're not really giving too much say is my guess, you know, because they can't like, like what are they going to do? It's kind of like, it's kind of like going into someone else's house and saying like, oh, you should rearrange your furniture. It's like you can't really do that. You can maybe give like a little tip, but like you can't really, you know, the Cobra Kai creators have said like, you know, as much as we love Cobra Kai, like it's not our property. Like it's Sony's property. Sony can do whatever the frick they want, which is what they're doing with this Karate Kid movie. So how does this have anything to do with it? I'm going to tie it all together. If the Karate Kid movie is coming out December of 2024, I think the Cobra Kai creators have like said in private to themselves, probably like, you know, we got to get season six out before this thing. Because if the new Karate Kid movie comes out and we see Daniel Russo doing stuff with Jackie Chan, it might affect season six and how we like view it now we don't know where that karate kid movie is going to be in the timeline i think it's going to take place after cobra kai but it would be like really confusing and it might give some stuff away like who the heck knows you know if basically you had the new karate kid movie come out taking place after season six and we find out oh maybe they won the psych attack guy i don't know like Daniel has a line, yeah, we won this world tournament. I don't, I don't know. And then you have season six come out after, and it takes place before. It's just convoluted. So I think the writers are like, okay, we need to get out this. We need to get out our season before. That way, the fans can just have our Miyagi verse, like seasons one through six. Then when this new Karate Kid movie comes out, people can either accept it or not. But season six won't play a factor, if that makes sense. So if the new Karate Kid movie came out and people like hated it, then it would leave a very bitter taste going into season six. So I think that the goal is to get this out before the movie. That way fans can just take in seasons one through six for what it is, then the Karate Kid movie. And it had nothing to do with the first six seasons. That's just my guess. Now, I think, would they have gone for a 2024 date anyway? Like, forget the Karate Kid movie. Would they have tried to go, go for the Karate Kid 2024 date or the Cobra Kai Season 6 2024 release date? Probably. Then they would want to get it out ASAP. You know, these guys have a lot of projects they're working on. The actors are getting older. You know, they're doing other projects. The, the writers, the, the cast. So, and fans have been waiting. So, like, of course, they want to get it out. As soon as they can however i think there's a discussion behind the scenes of like we need to get this movie out before or we need to get this season of cobra kai out before the movie so i think there's more of an incentive if that makes sense because with it being the last season it's like what's like no rush man like for for the fans no rush like you know like like last season let's savor it but in terms of like I think this Karate Kid movie is really um, making them want to get it out faster. I think they're going to want to get it out before the movie, um, which we'll see what that movie does. And we'll see what that movie has to do with season six and how it affects it. I think it's going to really. Um, I don't know, man. I'm 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 really concerned about this movie. And uh if you guys uh don't know, I actually did a like a two hour discussion with Sean Chandler, who's a um a YouTuber who talks movies, TVs. You guys have probably heard of him. Um very nice guy. We did a discussion for two hours here on the channel talking about the new Karate Kid movie, and we really were honest, gave all our thoughts. So go check that out if you haven't already. So um yeah, that was my that was my that was my discussion. Darth Chosen says season six could release in September 2024. Yeah, so so my theory, if we had to guess a release date, I'm going to say season six of Cobra Kai comes out between September of 2024 and December of 2024. Now, when I say December, 
I mean, before the Karate Kid movie, which I believe is coming the 13th of December. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe it's coming the 13th of December. So I think they're going to want to get it out before that. Now, I can't see them releasing season six so qu- so closely to the Karate Kid movie. So if the Karate Kid movie comes out December 13th of 2024, I can't see them releasing season six like a week before. I just, I think it's just too much. Like season six is just too big to be overshadowed. I don't know. I feel like one of the things will overshadow the other. Um, You could look at it from the perspective of, oh, like it's going to be this big month of Karate Kid and Cobra Kai if you release it both. But the thing is, they're just so different and just so the movie is already so controversial. Like what is this? If it was, if the Cobra Kai creator said, yeah, we have this big plan to do season six and then boom, it's going to go right into this movie. I'd be like, hell yeah, I'm down. But these aren't the Cobra Kai creators doing this movie. It has nothing to do with them. So I just don't want to have to like, like as a content creator, I don't want to like, I want to focus on season six when season six comes out. And then I want this new movie to be something separate. And I would really like, listen, I'm not going to prejudge the movie as of now. Like, I don't know if it's going to be great. It would suck to like, you know, make a video season six is great. And then like a week later, but the new movie sucks. Like, you know, I I wouldn't want to do that. Or like season six was great. But the new movie completely ruins Ralph Maggio's Daniel Russo. Like, you know, I don't have to do that. It makes no sense that they're combining Jackie Chan and Ralph Maggio, by the way. Like, it makes no sense. Like, you guys know, like, in the original Karate Kid, you know, Mr. Miyagi doing the chopsticks. And then what? In the reboot, Jackie Chan's doing the same thing with the chopsticks. But um, it's the same universe. They're just they just coincidentally have the same stories. (laughs) <laughs> like like the stories are just coincidentally exactly the same no it was a reboot it was designed as a reboot sorry it's a whole nother conversation bryce productions thank you so much for the super chat i think season six should be released on december 1st you know what that gives us two weeks until the new karate Kid movie that could be enough i'm gonna say like if they release it in november they give themselves enough time i would like th- them to release it in between September and November. If they were to release it in November, it would just give it enough time until the new Karate Kid movie. It wouldn't overlap. It wouldn't contradict. Um, well, maybe it will contradict. I mean, it depends on what the movie is. But, you know, it is interesting because we don't want them to rush this thing. Like, They filmed, was it season five? They filmed in, or season four. They filmed, I I, I, I can't forget, but they, they literally started filming a season in January and then they released it like in September or December. Is it season five? My memory is so fuzzy, man. Um, I think it was season four, actually. No, it was season four. They released it. They, they filmed it in January and then they released it that year. Yeah, they filmed it in January and then they released it in December, I believe. Um, I know literally nothing about the new movie. James, they got to get you to do the locations for that. I mean, who the heck knows what it's going to be? Rumors are it's New York, so we'll see. But you should do that. Well, I, I mean, obviously, I know like you can't just like, yeah, I'll do it. Like, I know like, there's obviously more to it, but that'd be cool. Like that would get me more excited for it. If you were doing the, if you were doing the locations, I'd be like, okay, at least we have some cool places we can look forward to. Um, so I think, um, Andrew from X. Yeah. I'm streaming on X too. This is my first time doing that. And I think I'm on Instagram too, but I don't really know. Um, I'm not really sure. Like, am I, am I on Instagram guys? Because I tried this new thing where it said, like, yeah, you're streaming from Instagram, but I don't really think I am. I'm not really sure. So I guess we'll see. No, I don't even think I am. Oh, well. 
How on earth will Ralph have time to film season six and a new movie? And <laughs> dude, 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 these, that was sense. Ralph is gonna, guys. Ralph is gonna film season six of Cobra Kai and a movie in literally like five months, <laughs> six months maybe. I don't know. Like, like you know, it's not happening. It's not happening. It, I mean, it is happening, but it's crazy. It doesn't make any sense. Um. So, yeah, I'm going to guess season six will come out. <sighs> nope. So, yeah, September to November, I think, would be the smartest thing to do. I mean, I, I, I kind of feel like it's going to go to December, but uh, that it worries. Like, I don't – I think – I don't know, maybe they'll do a September release. But the thing is, it's it's like, oh, oh, here's what I was saying. So one of the seasons, I believe it was season four, started filming in January. And then they literally released the season that year. But the thing is, season six is going to be a longer season. So how will that work? Like, aren't they going to take more time with it? Um, are they really going to be able to start filming in early January and get it out? that year i mean i guess that that's what, what it seems like the plan is but um how long will it take them will they be able to finish it all by september will it go until december the thing is with cobra kai um you know filming takes a lot of the time the editing you know obviously editing is a lot of work but you know there's not a lot of special effects that have to be done or visual effects you know um you know cobra kai is just not one of those shows um but obviously there's a lot of um post-production work that has to be done but it'll be interesting like um where they actually take it i mean you look at a show like stranger things like let, let's compare cobra kai season finale with stranger things or sorry series finale stranger things takes like freaking like 10 years to make a season so like you know i mean stranger things like they're not even ready to film or are, are they i actually don't know um but like I just know with Stranger Things, it takes a mad long time. The episodes are long. There's a lot of visual effects. With Cobra Kai, there's really not that. They don't have that issue. The episodes are a lot shorter. There's not that much visual effects. So it is interesting um, if what they do with that, if um, they seems like they are going to put it out, like they're filming in 2024, they're going to release it in 2024, which um, is crazy, but they've done it before. And hopefully the quality is there despite, you know, um, the, the rush to get it out. You know, I don't know if I hope, hopefully they don't rush it. I don't think they will, but you know, we'll see. Um, but it's actually crazy. Season six is literally filming in less than, um, in, in like weeks, weeks, how many weeks, one weeks, five weeks. How many weeks is weeks? Yeah, so season season six is literally filming in weeks, which is crazy. James Hayward says, I can't imagine Ralph will have a huge role in the movie, but then again, I literally don't know anything. So James, that was that's the question, you know, like, like, you know, it, it was a definitely a talking point. Like, is Ralph maybe Ralph isn't gonna have a big role? But if you look back at the video that they posted, he literally said with Jackie Chan. We're going to be starring in the new Karate Kid movie. Starring. So starring seems like a big role. And I feel like the fact that they announced that, you know, it would be kind of clickbait if they really didn't have a big role. It'd be kind of like, I mean, which, which oh, oh my God, that, oh, I would be so pissed. Like, you know, they announced Ralph for this and Jackie Chan. So if you're going to announce them, you might as well put them in the movie. But imagine like they have like <laughs> one scene at the end. Like, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Um, we'll see. December 19th, season six, just like the 84 tournament. Laura or Lara. Sorry. I hope I'm pronouncing um, the name right. Um, so. I, 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 the reason why I wouldn't want that. I, I mean, I know it's cool. Like December 13th, 19th the tournament i know a lot of people theorize that would be the date but the thing is if they do that the movie that the, that means season six will come out after the movie which i don't think they should do 
James Hayward says, I do know that Ralph has a huge role in the next season, so can't see him filming much for the movie, honestly. Yeah, it, it really is just weird. Like, I mean, Ralph, of course, is going to, you know, be in season six, like every freaking episode and like a lot of scenes. So what the hell? <laughs> Dan Purrington, thank you so, so much for the super chat. They need to use CGI slash archive footage of young Martin Cove next time they show young Chris because Barrett looks nothing like him. Yeah, I, 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 I get what you're saying. I was a little thrown off in, um, in season five when we had that flashback and, um, what's it called? Crease played by Barrett Carnahan, who is amazing by the way. Um, when he said, you know, I got this new student, uh, Johnny he has the same name as me. And like, like he's something special. It's like, it was a cool scene, but I'm like, Oh, like you're overlapping. Like, and and we know like you know i think i think barrett works for a young crease you know crease in the army but to have barrett play crease literally like 3 years before the karate kid or 2 years or 1 year what was it? i think it was 1 year before the karate kid it just it just doesn't work and i i hope that they don't go down that road um that just would not um be great so but Barrett Barrett is amazing though. I, I I I I let me let me clarify that. Barrett is definitely, definitely amazing. And I do want to see him in more flashbacks and stuff, but just not like so close to the karate kid crease. Cause then it just becomes unrealistic because obviously he doesn't look like Martin Cove. And like Crease wouldn't change that much, you know. But listen, sometimes you gotta look past those things. And I think Barry is, is freaking phenomenal. James says the only thing I can see Ralph doing is filming the movie as soon as we are doing shoot. <laughs> yeah, shooting season six. Yeah, uh, it's I don't know. I don't know, James. It's I I don't know. It'll be interesting. Um uh Miyagi Mamba says, Drew, how big of a deal is it that it originally looked like 15 episodes were registered and now Hayden is saying only 10? You know, I never really looked into that. I don't really know like um what was the whole thing there i i i heard that there could be 15 um but i was like not sure and honestly i'm not surprised that um we got the 10 confirmation all right let's move on to the next comment okay so Robert G. Culp asks Hayden on Twitter, will the Sekai Takai require team leaders from each dojo? And Hayden just simply responds, yes. So this is interesting. So each dojo for the Sekai Takai will need a team leader. And, you know, going into season six, we have a lot of freaking people in the Miyagi Feng Dojo or whatever their name is, which, which we're actually going to get into. There's some cool stuff with that so who will be a team leader i mean i feel like it has to be miguel if it's not miguel i feel like that'd be kind of disappointing miguel has been like the main character from the beginning and i feel like everybody just loves miguel you know maybe except kyler but like i feel like you know tori likes miguel robbie likes miguel sam likes miguel hawk likes miguel like everybody likes miguel like tori and sam have their beef hawk and you know um, Robbie had their beef for a bit, you know, like Hawk and Kenny had their beef or Robbie and Kenny. I don't know. Like, like, yeah, everyone has beef, but I feel like with Miguel, everyone's pretty cool with. So I feel like it would be like a unanimous decision to get Miguel to be, um, the team leader. Now, what does that necessarily mean? Like, what would he be required to do as a team leader? Not exactly sure guess we'll have to find out probably just uh you know be like the sensei of the kids and then you know not not the sensei but the leader essentially so um pretty cool that hayden actually answered that now um will this be like a big part of the season like will they actually like like have like a whole thing dedicated to we need to pick a team leader for the dojo like, like, will that be a storyline? I feel like with Hayden replying to this comment and saying, yes, I feel like that does mean like 
it will be established, like who will be a leader, what their role is. I mean, it's interesting. I'm excited for that. And I hope it's Miguel. I feel like that would be full circle. What do you guys think? Who do you think will be the team leader um, for the Sekai Tech guy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I should take over training. I completely agree. Oh, there could be two leaders. Oh, that is true. Maybe like Miguel and Robbie or Miguel and Sam. Maybe Miguel and Sam, like one boy, one girl. I can see Miguel and Sam. That'd be cool. Gotta be Miguel. Gotta be Miguel. Gotta be Miguel. We love Mickey. Okay. Next question. This is a big one, guys. Melissa. Shout out to Melissa. And congrats for getting your question answered twice on this Hayden Schlossberg Q&A. So Melissa asks Hayden, what episode will we learn the new dojo name in season six? Like flat out spoiler question. And Hayden just says episode 601, which is season six, episode one. So there we go, guys. Flat out answer the question. Now we did kind of know this because in the um, Cobra Kai season six table read that was kind of shown by Netflix, you know, for the Tadum event, we had Dimitri saying a line. Now we got to figure out our new dojo name. And that was when they were reading the episode one script. But we didn't necessarily know for sure if we were going to learn the dojo name. But now Hayden is basically confirming, like, you will know that name in the beginning. Which I will say, it, it's been, like, frustrating. Like, season four, season five, like, what the frick is this dojo? Like, like are we Miyagi-Do or are we Eagle Fang? And they keep, like, we are Miyagi-Do. But we are also Eagle Fang. Like, what are you, bro? Come up with a new name. And I'm excited that they're gonna just get it over within episode one like it would be really frustrating if we got to episode 10 of season six and it's like okay guys our new name is like you know you don't need to make it this big dramatic review like we've we've been waiting long enough you know and you can make it a big review on episode one of season six i'm just glad they're doing it right away i'm glad they're not waiting 10 episodes you know i i do think it should be a big reveal don't get me wrong, um, because, you know, we've been waiting for a while. The name is important. It's a big deal. But, you know, do it in episode one. Get it out of the way now so we we can call this dojo something. It makes sense because, I mean, for season four and five, we've been calling them Miyagi Feng, which is not what they are. I mean, maybe, kind of. like They are. They're Miyagi Don't Eagle Feng, but that's not their dojo name. So finally, we'll get a new dojo name. And I will be curious to see what they actually name it. Won't be Miyagi Fang. Like, I mean, listen, I, I'm used to it. It's cool. It's kind of catchy now. At first, I didn't like it, but now it's like I'm kind of used to it. But no, they got to do something like different. They got to do something cool. Um, so I'm excited to see that. And episode one of season six, um, we have our confirmation that that's what the first episode of season six will, you know, kind of center i mean it won't be the whole episode finding out the dojo name but that will be um one of the things so it seems as if in season six episode one they are still gonna plan on competing in the sekai taigai even though cobra kai is out of the picture and that will be something of discussion finding out the new dojo name and they will do it okay and last question melissa again getting your question answered three times that's amazing so melissa asks hayden will we be learning more history about miyagido or just the history of master kim and the way of the fist aka cobra kai in season six and hayden gives you know it's funny because sometimes hayden will give very specific detailed answers like what episode will we learn the new dojo name in episode one of season six and then other times he'll just say you'll learn more about everyone's past present and future so you know, just a general answer, but you know, it does gives us it gives us some insight. Um, you know, the question asks, "Will we learn about Miyagi Do or Master Kim?" And he says, "We'll be learning about the past, present, future." Um, 
Actually, you know what? That actually does uh, give a lot more than I thought. You know, when you when you really think about it, when you when you think about it, you know, he could have just said like learning the past, but now we're we're um by saying the present, and the future. Ooh, actually, you know what? I I take it back. It actually is a, a very interesting answer. It kind of um says a lot more than I originally thought. So. By learning about the past, possible we get flashbacks, possible we get discussions. By learning about the present, I think we're going to see like what, like, ma like how M Master Kim's legacy in like Japan or, um, is going to be like, you know, influence his influence over there. Um, or like, and then I think with the future like you know we could find out like what the plan is for the way of the fist like maybe kim da un has this big plan of you know taking the like you know the way the fist is being taught overseas or something um i mean it'd be i don't know i feel like there's a lot here to explore um so i think it's really interesting that hayden answered it like this and i like this answer um, that we're not going to just be learning about the past, but we're going to be learning about what's present about these two sides, the Miyagi and the Cobra Kai in the future. Um, you know, there have been discussions about spinoffs and diving into these stories and other source material, such as a movie or a show. Um, so I think it will be very important, and I think they will. I think the Cobra Kai guys are going to set up those spinoffs with season six so like if they do a mr miyagi or a miyagi do or a master kim or the way of the fist spinoff i think it'll be important for them to establish you know the past establish the present establish the future which is basically what hayden is saying so there we go we did it we answered the questions yes, that's it. so that, that, that was it that was uh, Hayden Schlossberg's uh, Twitter Q and A. Um, he he didn't answer a ton of questions. Like I mean, sometimes like you have like John Hurwitz who does these Twitter Q and As and answers like you know twenty questions. But um, no, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and he did answer some other ones, but uh, they weren't Cobra Kai related. Um, and um, this was pretty cool. So overall, just to recap, 10 episodes in season six. Silver's Cobra Kai students possibly joining Miyagi Fang. Everyone's going to get their moment in the spotlight. Season six coming out in 2024. Long episodes. Seika Taika is going to require team leaders from each dojo. Yep. New dojo name. We're going to find it out in episode one of season six. And... We will be learning about the Miyagi Do and Master Kim legacies a lot more. So there we go. Let's answer some fan questions before we wrap up this stream. I want to thank you all so, so, so much for joining. And if you are not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you subscribe. And also, Drew Doom, my brand new channel. Check it out. Link in the description. Thank you, guys. So let's answer some questions. Super Radical Plushy says you're the best. You're the best YouTuber out there, Drew Tube. Just know that you have a lot of potential. Thank you so much. That really, really means a lot. Thank you. Do you think they will end the show with any cliffhangers? Ooh, what's up, Max? How you doing, man? Um. I don't know, man. I, I hope not. I think they might set up like this is where the characters are going at the end. Like this is where they're going to like, you know, maybe they're going to go off to college and do that. So that's kind of a cliffhanger, but not like really. I don't think like I don't think it'll be something like this. I don't think it'll be like like just to give you an example. I don't think it'll be like. Guys, I have something really important to tell you. What I have to tell you that's really important is I 
<laughs> and that's it. I don't think they're going to end it like that. <laughs> like, like, cut to the Cobra Kai card. <laughs> oh, I had to, man. <laughs> oh, God, this one. <sighs> After Cobra Kai ends, is the Cobra Kai Kid channel ending? I have one word for you, my friend. Or, no, four words. Cobra Kai. Say it. Cobra Kai. Never dies. The channel's never ending, man. There's going to be spinoffs. There's going to be other Cobra Kai material. So just because the Cobra Kai series is coming to end, there's the Karate Kid movie, spinoff movies, spinoff shows. And, you know, I've already asked, like, John, Josh, and Hayden um, when I was talking to them. Um, I asked them, like, you know, like, is this going to be, like, do you guys want this to be like Star Wars where like you just keep making stuff and the universe goes on and on and they're like, yeah. So I think there's always going to be stuff. James Hayward says, who do you think will have the final one in Cobra Kai? Do you know, James? I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not asking for who I'm not asking for spoilers, but do you know who I think will have the fun? That's a good, that's a good question. Um, that's a, that's a great question. I don't know if it's like. The, the, the. It's a good question. I don't know, like. Hmm. Maybe they'll like. Daniel, Johnny. I don't know. I know those are kind of like the cliche answers, but I feel like I feel like Daniel or Johnny will have the last line, you know? I'm not sure. But I don't feel like it's going to end with a dialogue. Like, I feel like there's going to be like, it's going to end with music. So like, for example, like, like Lost. Let's look at a show like Lost. The ending of Lost, you know, spoiler, spoiler alert for the ending of Lost. I won't really give too much away, but like, the last scene, you know, it wasn't like someone said, okay, and then boom, and it was like, there was like, the last scene was kind of like eight minutes long, like the last like part of it was like eight minutes long, and they, I think they were like, they stopped talking at like the three minute mark of it, and then like the last four minutes or five minutes were just like um, action and not action, but like movement and music, so like, I feel like the last line won't be like the most significant. Like, I feel like it's not going to be like Johnny says, all right, we're so, and then it ends. Like, I feel like it's going to end with like them all doing something and like music playing or something. So that's what we're going to be more focused on rather than the last line. Just my thought. <laughs> Miyagi's force ghost will have the last line. I was going to say like, maybe like Miyagi or something, um, but we'll see. Zach, thank you so much for the super chat. So generous of you. I really appreciate it. A few questions for you. Specifically, how big of a point will Johnny's baby will cover just the end or the whole season in ways? Who do you think is going to win the tourney? And who do you see? What do you see as the perfect end? All right, so we got a three-part question here. Um, <laughs> um, sorry, I just saw this comment. The series ends with Armin pissing in the shower. <laughs> Stingray better get the last line, literally. Um, how big of a point will Johnny's baby? Um, I think Johnny's baby, like, I don't think the baby will be born until like the end, if I'm being honest. Um, I think the baby will be born like towards like, it could be episode 10, maybe. I don't know. Episode nine. I feel like the baby will be born later on. Unless it completely shock us. Um, but I think the baby will be born like in the finale or something. 
Um, <laughs> Matthew Thompson says the baby will have the last line. No mercy, dude. That'd be brilliant. Honestly, that'd be freaking brilliant. Um, <laughs> I love that. Um, who do you think is going to win the tournament? I think, I think Miguel needs to win or Robbie. I don't even know, man. Like who the heck knows with this thing, um, where they're going to go with it. I, I want Miguel to win. Robbie should win because Robbie hasn't won crap, but I want Miguel to win. What do you see as the perfect end? I think Johnny and Carmen need to get married. I think Kreese needs to, uh, you know, sacrifice himself and save Daniel and Johnny and like, like, you know, kind of goes out. Like if he's going to like die, like he dies, like with like a redemption arc. That's, that's what I would want, but thank you for the super chat. Dan says, I hope they use a lot of CGI for season six. What do what do you necessarily mean? Because like, what would, what would they really need to use CG for? Cobra Guy doesn't really require a lot of CG. <laughs> Grease will do the onk to Terry, dude. That'd actually be so funny. That'd be brilliant. Oh, Crease needs to fight Terry. That's another big one. Crease needs to fight Terry Silver. That'd be huge. Hmm. And Julie Pierce coming back. Just a theory, but maybe since they have team leads, it'll be a team-based tournament and not individual winners or losers. Hmm. I say good one. Honestly, that would be kind of that would make sense. That would make sense. That would be better. Like just so like they don't like. If like Miguel wins, like all the Robbie fans will be pissed. If like Robbie wins, all the Miguel fans will be pissed. You know, you don't want to like, I don't know. You don't want to take anything away from any of the characters. So maybe it's just a tournament where everybody wins. <laughs> you get a trophy. You get a trophy. Um, Nerd World says we need you and Ken reopening the writers' room. It's so funny that you say that. First off, I appreciate you for um, asking about that. If you guys um, don't know, Ken Cole and I, great guy, great YouTuber. We are uh, writing season six of Cobra Kai in our own way. Uh, we we've, we've been doing uh, these writers' room live streams. We did three parts. We still got to do part four. It's funny that you mentioned that because I actually reached out to Ken the other day. I messaged him, "Hey, man." Like we should um, do a live stream. We should do a writing Cobra Kai season live stream. And uh, I was I was trying to get it for next week. He said he was busy next week, but um, if we can't get it next week, we'll get it another day. But we are gonna get back to that. So um, I appreciate you for asking that. Um, that that'll be fun. That'll be really really cool. Um. Me versus Bert, who's winning? Me. He doesn't stand a chance. No one stands a chance. Guys, I got to bring this back up. How cool is that, man? Oh, my. my pocket is like... Look at that. How sick! It's freaking badass, man. Woo! Awesome. So cool. I had to show that to you guys. Love that. All right, I do want to do something before we wrap up. This is something I, I, I've i never done on a stream before. Um, and it's not even Cobra Kai related. But um, I, I think it would be fun. So let, let's do this. Why not? So... I, I, I got this game for my birthday or um, my mom got me this game. It's called Better Than Yesterday. Uh, 365 daily challenges to live a more confident, fulfilling and carefree life. Um, so she got me this game, which is really cool. You have all these cards here and basically each day you pick one out and you have to do what it says. So I thought it'd be fun if we just like, you know, before we ended the stream, we picked a card and um our challenge for the day like you know you guys could do it too um we have to do whatever the card says 
So this is like, you know, all about like mental health, um, living a more confident, fulfilling and carefree life. So whatever it says on the card, we got to do. And the goal is to pick one a day. So maybe like each time we do a live stream, we can pick a card at the end. Um, and if you guys do the task, let me know, um, you know, post it on like social media and tag me or whatever. Um, I, I feel like it would be a fun thing. I have no idea what the task is. Like there's all these cards. So let's just pick one. Let's see what it is. And here we go. So it says second time's the charm. Okay. Pick up an old project goal or dream you gave up on and try it one more time. Sometimes you just need a break from something. Pick it back up again and see what happens. Pick up an old project goal or dream you gave up on and try it one more time. All right. I feel like that's a really good one. Um, for me, an old project goal or dream, um, I have two things actually I can name, um, and maybe I'll, um, do one of them today. So I, uh, you know, for a certain, for, a, when COVID first happened, I was really into the gym. I would go every day and then like, you know, there would be certain times where I fell off and then like depression hit and I couldn't go. And then, um, I would get back into it and then depression would hit again. And then I would feel better. And then depression would hit again. And then I would stop. Um, but now I'm, I'm in an okay place. And I feel like I could, um, uh, I was going to the gym the last week and I feel like I could go today. So why not? So that's something like an old project. I would say another thing is, uh, music. I, I love making music. I love writing music and composing music here um so i i've been so busy and i haven't been able to do it even though that's something i love to do so i i guess i'll pick up on that now it's not really a specific thing like like sometimes they're more specific like do this today this one's a more general one but you know what i like it so guys like um i've I, you know it doesn't have to be today but like just in general pick up an old project goal or dream you gave up on and try it one more time so just in general you know, if you want to do it today, I dropped a card. Sorry. Great. If you can't do it today, then do it whenever you can. Um, but I feel like it's important to not give up on your dreams because dreams are so important, guys. Um, without dreams, what are we? You know, Sam, thank you so much for becoming a member. Appreciate you, man. Um, let me see. I don't see what. Black belt, man. Dude, thank you. Really, really means a lot. Appreciate you. Hope all is well, Sam. And thank you for the, the super sticker. Wait, I can't see it on. It doesn't pop up on StreamYards, which is annoying. But um, I do see it in the chat. The little kitty cat. Thank you so much. Um, so, yeah, guys. Um, let's Let's do it. Let's do it. Thank you all so, so much much for joining i love you all you're the best around and this was a very very fun stream thank you guys so so much so we got let's see let's do some housekeeping what else do we got coming on the channel um you know just just a lot more vids and a lot more fun stuff uh you know let me know in the comments what you guys want to see um while we wait for season six is there anything that you want to see you know like hop into that not the live chat but into the comment section below leave a like subscribe share all the fun stuff thank you guys i really appreciate you all for being here we had a ton of fun i had a ton of fun i hope you did too and a lot of people here so happy holidays happy new year i will see you all next time on cobra kai kid and until then always remember cobra kai never dies